On this video, I'm gonna talk about the mistake that many young artists make, which is confusing clout for quality, and how if you're not careful, it can cost you a lot of money and headache. Indy Jones, back with a trendy flow. I'm still trying to find my voice in this here scenario. Here we go. Yo, what's going on? My name is Ruslan, hip hop artist, creative entrepreneur. This channel exists to encourage, empower, inspire people to live out the king's dream for their life. And today is a new day, a new series of Mistake Mondays. Mistake Mondays is me taking self analysis of a lot of the mistakes I've made in music and business and giving you guys tips so that you could avoid and learn from my mistakes. So that's what the series is about. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you like this video, man, leave a comment, join the notification gang, or hop on a Patreon and continue supporting what we're doing here at King's Dream Entertainment. So as you guys know, I'm a hip hop artist. I've been a hip hop artist, full time hip hop artist, a little bit over three years. And I've had the privilege of traveling all over the country, of performing at everything from colleges to clubs to churches and everything in between. And I love to travel. I love to do shows. And so as my record with Paul Russell is getting ready to come out this Wednesday, by the way, if you haven't pre-ordered that joint, it's called Viet Text. Link in the description. Uh, it's coming out this Wednesday. I'm very excited about it. So as I'm getting ready to release this project, I'm thinking about putting together some shows. We're going to be doing an East Coast run in January and trying to fill in some dates and really put on like a better quality show, even at the indie level that we're at. So as I'm thinking about getting ideas about going on tour and putting together shows, booking concerts, all that kind of stuff, man, I had the opportunity to go and see Andy Mineo, Lecrae, uh, Words Played, No Big Deal, What Up RG on the Better Late Than Never tour in Riverside. And man, it was a really really, 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 really dope show. Everybody killed it, but specifically, uh, the set that stood out to me is Andy Mineo's set. Andy's been releasing music, releasing visuals, and his set was just top tier, next level in terms of the showmanship, because he's always been a good performer, but the visual aspect, the graphics behind him, the screens, the lighting cues, all those different things that he was executing on such a high quality level, the transitions. And my mind started spinning, right? As a creative, as a, as a, as a performer, you start thinking like, what of those elements can I take and I incorporate at where I'm at? You know, so then I start thinking, man, I wonder, I wonder how much those big screens cost him with some of the lyrics and some of the visuals, some of the abstract things. And then I start thinking, man, I'm, wonder how much those lights cost, the lights that every time the snare hits, the lights hit, or every time the trap hits, do the little hi-hat rolls and the trap hi-hats and all that kind of stuff. I think about that and then we got to hang out afterwards and we saw how big of a production that show really was. You see a show and you experience a show and you enjoy the show, but you don't quite understand how much work goes into the show. And as we went backstage and got to hang out, and Andy, Minnie, and all those guys are, are friends of mine, they're really cool dudes, they really walk the talk, but I got to see the entire staff behind the production, meaning that there was probably a team of, I don't know, 15, 20 people that weren't performers and weren't on stage that traveled with them. And then at the end of the night, we went out and we walked out and we saw the tour buses. They had two tour buses for the artists and the whole crew. And then they had a huge big rig truck that packed all the equipment. And it took them like several hours to strike down all the equipment. And it gave me context of how big the actual show was, how big the production was, how much time, energy, effort, how much money it costed. On the surface, see on the surface, I was looking at the quality of the show and I was thinking if I can execute that same level of quality that it would help me level up. But what I wasn't calculating and what I wasn't thinking about is that the quality that they were executing on was relative to the level of clout or the level of success that they had already achieved having a massive platform. Meaning that if I were to go and and just spend exorbitant amounts of money to get the same projectors and the same screens and the same lighting and all that kind of stuff. Just because I had the same equipment doesn't mean that it's gonna give me the same return on my investment, right? That's, uh, that's so obvious, it's so, it's so straightforward. I'm not that tier, I'm not, I'm not doing 1,400 person crowds, 2,000 person crowds. I don't have that ticket draw. And I'm working to make my show the very best quality that it could be at this level. But quality without considering clout or status can lead you astray. So if we, as independent artists, as aspiring artists, as young entrepreneurs, if we would look at that show and we would logically think, man, this stuff is great and it's an amazing uh, audiovisual production and it's really dope. And if you haven't seen the tour, you should really go check it out. As we would look at that and we'd say, man, this is really dope, this is really cool. But we would not think 
oh, I'm gonna go jump out the window and spend $50,000 and get all the same production that they have. That would just be an illogical thought, right? But what we do as creatives is we, we do the same thing when it comes to our equipment, when it comes to paying exorbitant amounts for beats, when it comes to paying exorbitant amount for mixes, and we're thinking that if we could just get this thing, if we can just get this mix to sound right, if we could just get this engineer to mix it, if we can just get a beat from this producer, if we can just get this artwork from this designer, if we could just get this, then all of a sudden that will take us to the next level. And the reality is, is getting to the next level isn't necessarily a result of spending exorbitant amounts of money it was it's a result of actually having the resources and knowing when to invest in yourself not recklessly investing in yourself see I remember bringing Andy out to a conference I was hosting back in the end of 2012 and he didn't travel with a, a 15 person stage crew. He didn't tra He didn't even have his own DJ. It was just him and his manager, David, at the time. And it was super low key. And he put on a great show in front of 250, 300 people. So when he's in front of 2000 people, the show just grows and evolves. So the biggest mistake I think I see artists make and I've made is that we think that the quality, the, the paying for the quality, the the quality of the equipment, the quality of the studio. You hear a lot of people saying, oh, I wanna go into a quality studio, right? That the quality is going to help you get the clout. And that's not true. The clout and the progress and the status and the fame and the acclaim takes time. And some people get lucky and it happens overnight. And other people, it takes time. Maybe it takes a year, five years, 10 years, 20 years. It takes time time to get to develop the status and the clout and some level of luck and some level of tapping into just where the people are at and people consciousness some level of relationships connections all those different things those things take time that's not an overnight process so do not do not believe the hype that quality and clout are the same thing they are not there are people right now right now making quality music, whether they're on major labels, whether they're independent, whether they're on SoundCloud, Spotify, making quality music that will not get the level of clout because maybe the timing is off, they don't have the other variables, maybe they don't have the charisma, maybe they don't have the star power. There's so many things that go into this, but one of the biggest mistakes I've made is buying into a better mix is gonna make everything sound bigger. And so spending exorbitant amounts of money on mixing or spending money on production, lots of money on beats, when really, really that I hadn't grown to that point yet. And instead of developing myself and growing and trying to build an audience and a fan base, I was spending money in the wrong areas. So the biggest mistake I made was confusing clout for quality because quality doesn't always equal clout and clout doesn't always equal quality. When you could find the balance of both the way Andy and Lecrae and those guys did, that's a beautiful space to be in, but they didn't start out there, right? They didn't start out, yeah, we're just gonna go into a 2000 cap room and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on equipment and lights, they built to it. And so build your way to clout, build your way to quality. You know, I have my dream home studio set up here. I got a Neumann U87, it's a $3,000 microphone, an Avalon 737 preamp, an Apogee uh, converters. People ask me all the time what microphone I'm using and I'm like, it, it doesn't matter. It, do it, it really doesn't matter what I'm using. You know why? Because Paul Russell just did a whole record with me, a whole album. It's coming out this Wednesday, a little cheap plug. Oh, and he recorded like 80% of the record on his iPhone. And he sounds incredible. And if I didn't tell you guys that, most people who heard the records and, uh, and had been peeping some of the singles had no idea that he was recording right on his iPhone and his voice memos app. Because it's not just about the equipment to get the clout. You actually gotta have the skill set, you gotta have the timing, you gotta have the execution. There's so many things that go into it. So don't, don't confuse quality for clout. If you found this video helpful, and I know you did, and I know you probably have some people in your life, if you are not one of them, that are spending money in the wrong areas, maybe they're chasing the right mix, maybe they're chasing the right beat, maybe they're chasing the right feature, whatever it is, pass this video along to them. Give me a thumbs up, man. Go pre-order that VTX coming out this Wednesday, and we'll be back next Monday for another Mistake Monday. Thank y'all so much. Peace. I can't keep you in check, so tell your mama about the tattoos up to your neck. Go wear a collar if it goes with the burgundy.